Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on advanced Fortran programming and my name is Arun. Um, in this tutorial, uh, we'll be looking at uh, methods to uh, interface procedures which is subroutines, which can be sub a subroutine or a function which is which belongs to modules. Now in the previous tutorial, uh, in the previous program also, previous programs also, what we did is that we were looking at these and if you guys notice, uh, these functions and subroutines they were external to the program okay because notice they were defined externally to the program so it doesn't matter if they are in the same file or in a separate file when they come when they compile it doesn't matter it actually doesn't matter okay uh, but uh, so when these were compiled in uh, compiled properly what they have to do, what you have to do is that you may have sorry when, when you when you have to interface them what you have to do you have to uh, you have to define all the variables inside the interface and define the data types for them and so on and so forth. But this could be a little annoying. And besides, uh, uh, the what are the chances that you'll be using? Uh, I mean, defining variables and sub, I mean, functions and subroutines externally without using of modules. Very less times. Uh, maybe for a small project or a small work, yeah. But for bigger or massive projects wherein um, you have like hundreds and thousands of subroutines and modules. You won't be using this kind of first method, wherein you'll be using modules. Modules. So the uh, stark difference is when you're using defining functions and subroutines uh, inside uh, modules, the interfacing uh, methodology over there is slightly different. Uh, I'll explain you guys what 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 I'm what I mean by that here. Okay. Now what I have here in this program is just a repetition of the previous pro the previous program, uh, the program which we done last time. Okay. So that you guys are. Uh, you know, it will be easy for you guys to follow. What I've done here is that I, I have this module module called as inters, okay? And inside that, I define all the fun I define the four functions, the two functions and the two subroutines which we saw last time. So it's, ex uh, so it's very simple, exactly the same subroutine and functions we used last two in the last two tutorials. And if you guys are watching this without seeing those two tutorials, uh, you may not get a head and tail of what's going on here. Uh, unless otherwise you are extremely familiar with Fortran, okay. So if you guys didn't watch this pre, uh, look at my previous two tutorials so that you guys are uh, in sync, uh, are in the same page as we are, okay. I define that, okay. And then what I def what I done here is that I created a new module called as module in, uh, with inters with the name inters two, okay. And inside this, what I'm doing is that I'm in using the functions and subroutines of Inter module inters using this uh, command over here called as uh, use inters now with this all the functions and subroutines which are part of inters module are inside modules uh, inters too okay and with that what I'm defining is that I'm defining the interface function I mean the interface uh, interface block for all the functions and subroutines defined in mo inters in module inters okay the interfacing goes like this I write the keyword interface and then the interface name I end the interface name and unlike the previous time wherein uh, okay I'll, uh, I'll show you the interfacing block wherein the wherein you had defined the subroutine name the function name the data variable fun I mean subroutine the keyword subroutine name and the data variables that function set and similarly the function the function data type um, everything and including all the, the variables that it passes takes takes in and out instead of taking all that what you have to do is just it's a simple answer all you have to do is just write module procedure the keyword module pro space procedure and then type the function that you are uh, uh, function or subroutine that, that you want to club in simple as that okay this is this part takes care of the swapping subroutine whereas this part takes care of the sa swapping function and if you guys notice unlike previous time it's it regardless of whether these are sub functions or subroutines they can be clubbed nicely so not at all a problem Right. you guys are uh, not at all a problem and that's it and once this is clubbed in uh, I'm using in, in this program it is exactly the same as the previous program what I'm doing is if you guys notice if you guys look at look at it every line by line it's exactly same as this program inter which it defined last time okay except that to import all the functions I'm using this keyword use inters uh, I'm using this keyword use inters and this time this has to be uh, if I would I think it should be inters two, I guess. Let's see. Uh, wait, wait, wait. 
am I doing this right let me just check okay module enters okay sorry this is proper here yeah okay fine and after this I'm just including uh, I'm just including this module enters to inside and takes care of it since uh, because of enters to all the functions and subroutine which are part of modules enters one okay are are in and uh, are inside this function along with this interface simple as that okay now why do you have to go for uh, you know why do you, you might I mean why do you have to go for this complex method well you might ask me hey I don't um, can't you just write all this interface thing interface interface line interface blocks inside in this module enters enters and just call the module the enters directly instead of following this a uh, little more longer longer way of uh, defining a new module and importing all the modules inside and uh, defining the inter inter interface block like that well uh, well you are right that that can be done I mean I mean logically speaking it should be done it should be possible but uh, practically it's not possible uh, because what I've understood I mean uh, for, I may be wrong but as far as I've noticed it's not possible here so how uh, the uh, so the thing that the thing to be taken here is that this line a module cannot have the interface block for its own procedures defined in, in defined in it however it can have interface procedures for module procedures if the uh, for other module procedures if they are imported using the use keyword meaning this module enters cannot have this uh, interface procedure interface procedure anywhere in the anywhere in anywhere in its definition because these this interface procedures have functions and subroutines which are part of its own procedure which are a part of it so so this way the interfacing is not possible it's not possible inside module interest whereas if I were to invoke if I were to call all the functions and subroutines of this of this module into another module say interest 2 and define the interfacing function in, uh, define the interfacing block for the modules and function sorry for the functions and subroutines in the previous in the module enters if this is possible if you ask me yes this is possible the point is a module cannot have the interfacing block for its own for its own procedures whereas it can have interfacing procedures uh, for I mean interfacing block for some other modules procedures okay now this is how we ran it worked fine uh, to make sure to make sure that this works in this works to make sure we prove this what I do is that I instead of two I just remove this inters remove this two okay now this way now, if you did, now this way what I'm doing is that I'm, I'm ignoring module module inter inters two for compiling and then I'm using mod the module inter in, in module inters directly and what I'm doing is that uh, now let me uncomment this uh, format uncomment lines. Now, since I've uncommented this, the mo this module will have the interface function, <laughs> the interface block for its own subroutines and functions. Okay. Now, if you guys notice, this is be above the contains and contains so that we define the functions and also if I were to compile this, if you guys notice. It's not compiling, whereas it's throwing a lot of errors, and if it's it's uh, it's showing uh, there is a compilation error. Okay, so this doesn't work. Okay, okay. Now uh, let's not lose hope. Let's cut this term out. Let's cut this term out and put it at the bottom of subroutines of of the all the the functions and subroutine definitions. Okay, if I were to compile this again. Still, I'm getting a lot of errors. Still, I'm getting a lot of errors. On the other hand, if I were to cut this, if I were to cut this, and leave it as it is, leave uh, leave it as it is, you know. And if you were to use this over here, it'll just mess up things over here. So, the best thing is, we d we found out that both these methods do not work. Okay. So if I had, uh, so what I have to do is that I have to comment all this, format comment lines. If I have to com comment this, I have no interfacing. Okay. Now if I were to compile this, it just shows that uh, geo underscore term does not have any does not have any uh, implicit data type or uh, implicit data type. Okay. 
I mean, that's because we haven't included the inter- in the interfacing block is not available in this code. So what I have to what I have to do is that I have to do include inters two into it. If I and if I were to comp if I were to compile this now, it works fine because inters two has the fun has the modules and uh, functions and subroutines of module inters and also the interface block. Okay, now now what is there any other way? any other way wherein I can just define the fun module and then uh, have the interface yes it's possible what I can do is that now what I do is that I just take this inters out of it uh, I just take this inters out of it and what I do is that uh, I define uh, the sub let me think yeah and before this implicit none let me copy all this uh, interface definitions and print it over type it over here okay type it over here now if I were to run this now if you if you guys notice uh, because of this command th- this line all the functions subroutines of module inters is available and now we have the interfacing definitions put the da- available in the program itself okay so technically speaking this should work if I were to compile this uh, it's still showing an error um, what uh, what errors does it mean uh, Implicit it just it just saying that uh, implicit implicit none statement at one cannot follow interface statement at two. Um, okay, I think it's because okay. Let me do something else. If I were to cut this out, uh, I'm just experimenting here. Okay, now if I were to play this, I think this should work if my uh, thing is right. Yeah, perfect. After implicit none, if I were to write the impl- interface function. It should should find so if I were to compile, build, and run this, okay. If you guys notice, it works fine. You get the same result, just like just like the previous tutorial. Previous tutorials, we get the same results, and everything is working fine, okay. Now, uh, if I were to you know comment this out, okay, I'll comment this out, and I use inters two over here. Now, we, because of inters two over here, uh, if I were to compile, build, and run this, it'll again. Uh, work nicely okay so this is the thing if you wa- so this is the thing you have to learn keep in mind here if you're using um, if you're using a module uh, module uh, definitions inside a fun inside a program okay and if you want to use interfacing option either the function is that either the program should have the interfacing block interfacing block into it and the module uh, parameters module par- and the module for uh, so procedures uh, imported into it using the use command over here or else or else what you have to do you have to define a new module wherein all the functions all the procedures of the previous modules are imported into it and inside this new module the interfacing command interfacing line should be built uh, written in written in it interfacing block should be written in it and this new function so in this new module has to be invoked into the program to be uh, to call it simple to call it now this is how uh, the work this is how has to be done so I'll ri- write it here uh, alternatively 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 uh, the module to be uh, used with interfacing can be directly invoked into the program and the interfacing uh, blocks okay interfacing blocks have to be uh, uh, present have to be in okay uh, have to be uh, inside the program definition into it has to be inside program definition okay these are the other two ways possible uh, notice uh, um, uh, the final point is a module cannot have uh, an interface block for its uh, its 
own procedures its own procedures so this is the bottom line of this tutorial a module cannot have interface block for its own procedures okay so other than that everything ev other than that everything works fine so uh, what i like to guys what i uh, like you guys to do is uh, keep experimenting keep experimenting and this might be uh, you, if you guys found some in peculiar topics or peculiar kind of cases wherein uh, you have uh, entirely different set of scenarios or alternatives wherein if you guys are able to break this rule let's say in s if the if this rule is kind of broken in some other uh, uh, compilers or if this is if this can be violated and bypassed or something by some other methods or not by some other methods that will be really interesting to look at and if you guys found uh, any other options where and this can be done do let me know i learn from you guys i learn from you guys that there's nothing there's absolutely that's absolutely fine and ha more than happy to i'm more than happy to do that okay and that's and uh, that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial um in the next tutorial we will be looking at uh, user defined operators using uh, the interface operation and that will be a little pretty that will be a little interesting to look at okay thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you guys in the next tutorial so take care then bye sorry